This is the Dual ESP32 Mini GPIO board and 3D printed case from AWOC Dynamics. So, came just like this with these two antenna. This is how you update one of the ESP32. This is how you update the other one. So these are the interfaces for the two ESP32. One is the W Rover, one is the W Room. The one controlling the screen is the W Room. The one you use for the interface for a Flipper Zero when you attach it is the W Rover. Comes with this GPIO pin cover to protect. Now before I even connect it, I make sure I connect my antennas. You never wanna run one of these boards without the antenna connected, just in case. You don't wanna bust the chip. The chip can be ruined. Get that on there. Get this one on there. Perfect. Now I'll connect it to the flipper. So you've got the flipper here, you're going to connect it to the top. And it kind of clicks in there real nice. It's very nice. Let's start her up. All right, so the first thing we'll do is we'll go into the apps, go into Wi-Fi. And let's start at Marauder. Now, as it's starting here, like I said, the, the chip controlling the screen is the room, the W room, and the one con being controlled by the flipper interface is the W rover. All right. So over here, well, let's start a scan. And at the same time while we're doing that, we can go over here and mess with some Bluetooth. Let's do a little Bluetooth sniff. Catching a couple things. Oops, still going over here. All right, you know what? Let's go back here. And let's see if we got enough data right here to do something fun. So, I've scanned a bunch of things and now let me see the list. I look at this list, see if there's anything I can play with. All right, I see something. Now I'm going to select something that I saw. Boom. All right, now I go back and I'm gonna start an attack. There it is. I'm going to start a deauth attack. All right, that's started. Now over here, let's view this deauth attack. Hmm. Deauth sniff. Channel two, channel three, channel four. Oh, something's coming. Six, seven, eight. No, nothing on eight. So it looks like five, six, and seven. Let's see if it comes up again. Five, six, and seven. Very good. Can get the focus in there. All right, now let's stop my attack. I've stopped the attack. Let's see if that comes up now. Nothing, nothing, nothing. All right, let's start the attack again. So I've started down here. I'm sniffing it up here. Five, six. Oh, let's stop the attack. Nothing on seven. All right, we're going to cycle through one more time just so I can show you. So normally this would hit on five. Nothing's going to happen on five, but I'll make it happen on six and seven. There you go. So I started something here and was able to see it up here. 
very valuable tool to use for penetration testing and just learning in general. Being able to do the two things at once in one device allows you to see and experience these things that you're doing right away without having to have two devices or really interrupting anything else around you. You can do all of your stuff from this one spot and really gain some good knowledge, some some good techniques on how to look and do various things. So in regards to this board, it's cool that it has two things because you can, you know, do two attacks or do two sniffs, but really in terms of learning that I think that's the most important thing about it is that you can do very various things in one spot and learn so much in one spot. So this is the dual ESP32 Mini by AWOC Dynamics for the Flippa Zero.